It's like, do, 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 do. <laughs> on off, on off, on off, on off. Sound like I said fauna. fauna. Hello, Pottery Posse. How are you today? I hope you're doing great. Um, today's gonna be a little bit different. Oh, wow. I am, as you can see, sitting on my couch. I'm gonna be talking with you today about my YouTube channel and how um, how I see things going in the future, what my hopes are. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Emily Edens. I'm also known as Zepotelidon, the Potter Eden. <laughs> and I guess I should explain my name, my YouTube name. It's the Potter Eden. And it can also be said Pottery Den because I'm punny and I like puns and I like plays on words. Because my last name is Edens and Den is like a place where you come and enjoy life. I don't know. It's my pottery den. And so it became the Potter Eden because my last name is Edens with an S. Yes. But anyhow, hopefully that makes more sense now because I have people calling me Eden, which is not, it's not my name, but it's okay. It's fine. You guys know that if you leave a comment asking me about pretty much anything for me to make you a video for, most of the time the answer is gonna be yes. I love making the content that you guys want to see. And I guess that is my first order of business. Why am I doing YouTube? As many of you may know, doing YouTube can be kind of hard. There's a lot that goes into it. First of all, I have to make the piece. And second of all, a lot of people get a little peek. Oh, wait, it's a belt, not a reveal at the end. Um, but sometimes I'm in a slow period, which means that I'm not making as much pottery, and I don't have a full kiln, so I'm not just gonna go and fire one thing in my kiln, just so that I have something for a video. <laughs> um, so I think what I'm gonna start doing for those videos that don't have a reveal at the end, I'm just gonna Business number two, um, where do I see my YouTube going in the future? Actually, I haven't even answered question number one. Why am I doing YouTube? So <laughs> to answer question number one, I love teaching. I always have. I went to school to get my art education degree. I have taught in the public and private sectors. I have taught private lessons as well as taught at private schools. And uh, when COVID hit, I decided not to go back, which was a bold choice, but I decided to make the Potter Eden YouTube channel and start making my own pottery and I've been selling locally. That's kind of how this all started. And I have really loved the sense of accomplishment, not only from making a piece, but also making the video itself. Here's a little secret for you. <laughs> Before I had this YouTube channel, I actually had two videos of me singing because I wanted to be the next Justin Bieber. <laughs> uh, that's a true statement. It got like 50 views and then I took it down. <laughs> so, um. I actually really like making videos. I am so long-winded. Y'all don't even know. I mean, you probably do because I talk a lot. <laughs> Anyhow, going into it, I made my very first video kind of in a rush, and I did it so that I could hand something out, a, a beforehand instruction to a workshop that I was hosting. And yes, I used to do workshops. I want to again, but they take a lot of work like a lot. And with COVID and everything, people were kind of like, oh, <laughs> not right now. And I was like, okay, totally understand. My YouTube kind of started because one day I was like, oh crud, I need to explain how this works so that when they come in for the workshop, they already have an idea of what they want to do. So I made a video. I threw it together in the beginning when I just threw up that video. I didn't really have any expectations. And then I hopped back on like a month later or something and it had gotten a thousand views. And I was like, what is this? People like watching what I've made. I decided I was gonna start making YouTube videos all the time. Um, at first it was like a once a month kind of thing. And then I realized how slow that was. <laughs> And so I promised myself I would do at least one every other week. And at that point I was like, oh, just forget it. I'll just do one a week. 
So on to question number two. Numero de. Where do I see my YouTube channel going? Um, I don't really know. The channel is not where I thought that it would be at this point. I've enjoyed doing the YouTube thing. In other news, I have deleted my Facebook. Yeah. Um, the platform is kind of going in a direction that I don't know that I like very much. And uh, I never really use it. All I ever get on is Instagram. So I hope you have an Instagram. And if you don't, I'm so sorry. If you want to contact me, um, please just comment below. I always try to answer the comments. If you have a question, ask away. If you want to collab, sure. Why not? Let's do it. Um, that's part of where I feel like my YouTube channel should go is I'm hoping that uh, if, if, I don't know, let me backtrack. You know, if I continue to grow as a channel, if more people find my videos helpful or interesting or funny, because I like being funny, um, I'm hoping that this can become like a full-time job, which right now it like partly is and it partly isn't because I'm able to continue making things and making tutorial videos off of what I'm already making. So it kind of works hand in hand at the moment. If I want for this channel to grow, like I think that it can, I have to really keep at it and keep making videos every week so that the YouTube algorithm notices me and starts pushing my videos and wrecking, rec recommending my videos to other people who are not a part of the Potomé oh! community. That is why it is so, so helpful for you to like the video, to subscribe if you haven't already. By the way, <laughs> don't be hitting the subscribe button like 40 times because you're hitting subscribe and it's subscribing you and then you're hitting subscribe again on my next video and then it's unsubscribing you and then you hit it again, it's subscribing. It's like, do, 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 do. <laughs> on off, on off, on off, on off. Sounded like I said fauna. Fauna. So don't do that. Just hit the subscribe button. That's the point of subscribing is to keep up with when I post new videos. Do I have any questions from the Instagram? Let's talk about hopes and dreams. <laughs> As a kid, I always wanted to be an actress. Just something I always felt like I could do because I have a lot of personality and uh, I've always really enjoyed doing different accents and things, which you probably can already tell because I pull them out every once in a while, especially in Punny Potteries. I've, I kind of want to do voice acting because I don't really want, <laughs> as weird as this sounds, I don't really want my face uh, on screen, like on the big screen. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm good. I don't really want to be like in the limelight. I don't know that I want to do that. <laughs> but voice acting though, I would really enjoy doing that. Personal things about me. Um, I'm a Christian, which means that I believe in grace alone through faith alone and Christ alone. And that is what saved me from my many, many sins because I'm a very bad sinner. I love my husband. I love my family. I would love to have a dog one day, but I love my parents' dog. I love pottery. I also do watercolor portraiture. Let me know if you want to see any tutorials on watercolor. I think I want to start up an Etsy, but I think mostly I would just be selling portraits especially right now. Etsy can be kind of ex expensive with shipping and everything. I'm not sure about that. Let me know what you think in the comment section, what you would like for me to do. If you want to see an Etsy shop. Any more questions from the peanut gallery? So I've had several people say that they want to see more punny potteries from me. Those take a lot to make sometimes. Sometimes they're great and easy and I can just blow right through it and it's fine. 
But you know, it's like it, when you have a really fun time making the video, it's like, it's like nothing. It's like nothing. Sometimes the tutorials get really dry for me and I want so badly to put some kind of humor in it, but it's like, I also want to give due respect to the fact that it's actually a tutorial and that people are wanting a tutorial. It's not COVID, I promise. <sighs> so anyways, um, also recently I've gotten into sewing, which is so weird. I've always wanted to sew, never had the confidence to do it. Started watching some Makara Tours videos. I think she's flipping hilarious, so I watch her all the time. And then I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. And I honestly should have recorded myself making those because it was intense. And I really liked how it turned out. And I honestly, I don't know. I thought about, I've thought about making so many YouTube channels. It's not even funny. Thought about making one for pottery, which I did. Thought about making one for painting with watercolors. I thought about making one for sewing and just the journey from knowing nothing about sewing, learning as I go and making stuff and just seeing where I end up. And then I also, <laughs> this one's like joking, but also kind of like seriously though. I kind of want to do a YouTube channel that is, uh, it's makeup based because I love it when people do my makeup. Like, I don't care if you're three years old, do my makeup. It's great. I love it. Um, Picasso up in here. And then I thought I would ask some interesting interview questions to the people who do my makeup. So I could start with people in my family, um, random neighbors, uh, go up to random people in Walmart. Sure. By the back of my car. Heck no. But then, uh, if the channel actually got some traction, then, you know, I could do collabs with other makeup artists or people who have no idea how to use anything with makeup. I don't know anything about makeup. Like in high school, I did the same makeup for like three or four years. I had like lime green. It was a, it was a whole thing. It was kind of terrible, but also kind of awesome. Cause I just didn't care. <laughs> and I walked around like that thinking that I looked really cool with my lime green and my turquoise on my eyelids looking like I'm from the eighties. It was slightly tragic, but I don't know how I would handle having several YouTube channels. Anyways, y'all wanted to know. So I'm telling you. So yeah, if you feel like commenting and asking me more questions, I would love to answer. That's another thing. I would absolutely adore the, the comments being more of a conversation because I, I don't know why I want that so bad. I want to have some kind of community with y'all. That's like part of the point of this platform is not only for the creator to make the video and Put it out there and for y'all to watch it and get something from it but also for y'all to ask questions or comment to each other not just to me um i love that i just i want to have a little pottery posse the people who are my subscribers y'all are the pottery posse so yeah if you feel like commenting and you feel like liking the video like if this was something that you want me to do more of, let me know. <laughs> you can subscribe. You could also watch a, a video maybe or like a playlist. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.